the curiosity you have for the questions of, of economics or physics or biology or any subject you want to study, uh, the, your curiosity is one of the, your greatest, res in your sense of what is a good question is, is, is your greatest asset as a researcher. Uh, I would advise anyone who is thinking about getting into research to try to read current research articles, which are written, our research articles are written in very careful technical language, which many people may find boring. If they do, that's fine. Don't be, don't be a researcher. If you don't. But some people, some of us, look at that and say, those questions are so important, I want to write in that area also. If so, my advice is we need, we need more work in this area. Whatever you see in, written in these research articles, if you think it can be done better, you're right, and, and go, go study it. But uh, first, you must, you must be interested. Game theory is a fundamental and very general perspective on conflict, on the problems of conflict between people. And uh, in society, and 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 I think we need to understand this. Uh, from, I'll tell you a story that that uh, I, I've come to realize in recent years is very important to me. When I was very young, I can remember. I know it was 1956, the year of the Suez Crisis, when France, and Britain, and and Israel were intervening in, in Egypt. Uh, and I was reading cartoons, and I was the political cartoons that showed the world being in great danger. And I was thinking, I asked my father, you know, is the, you know, is the world in danger? And, uh, and he said, don't worry, the leaders of the world are very smart and will know how to keep peace. And I think from that day, I think I always thought, I'm sure they are very smart, as my father said, but maybe they're not smart enough. Maybe we need to know more. And uh, when I learned about game economics and game theory as being rigorous analytical ways of thinking about the problems of the way society works and the questions of peace and war, which people here at, at uh, Ecole Polytechnique are interested in also. Uh, but this is something I'd like to study. The Nobel Prize is an enormously prestigious scientific and, and uh, cultural award. It is, and I now, as a Nobel laureate, I get invitations to pe from people to, talk, to come and talk to them, to give public lectures, where I don't think they're really interested in anything I have to say, me, but they want a Nobel laureate to come and speak to them. And, and the Swedish Academy of Sciences has certified me as a Nobel laureate. So I'm not any more or less interesting than I was before. Not any more interesting, and I hope not any less interesting. But I have some new opportunities. And sometimes these wonderful opportunities are actually people I would like to speak to and, and, and I would like to learn from talking to, or I have a message I would like to, to try out on them and, or, or uh, talk, discuss with them. Um, so that has been very interesting. It's a great privilege.